This presentation is about measuring sulfur in marine fuel with a portable analyzer. Ships must be in compliance with the global marine pollution regulation requirements of sulfur content in fuel. A portable analyzer makes the job faster and easier, and it can be taken wherever and whenever measurements are needed, including aboard ships. Sulfur content in fuel is regulated because exhaust from ship fuel or bunker is a significant contributor to harmful air pollution. The United Nations gave the responsibility to prevent atmospheric pollution by ships to the International Maritime Organization. IMO met this responsibility by enacting a MARPOL regulation. Sea vessels are now required to provide proof that their fuel contains no more than 0.5% sulfur at sea and no more than 0.5% or 0.1% sulfur at emission control areas, which are populated seacoasts or ports. MARPOL sulfur regulations are enforced by local maritime authorities. A bunker delivery note, which states the fuel's sulfur content, must be provided with a fuel sample during inspections. Fuel sample labels must include information on the source of the fuel as well as the ship using it. It is also possible for maritime authorities to take their own samples from the engine feed or returning line to ensure the fuel in the sample is the same as what is actually in use. There are many stakeholders in the effort to reduce sulfur exhaust from ships, including the fuel suppliers who provide their customers with bunker delivery notes for purchase fuel. MARPOL compliance may be a condition for contracts, loans, and even insurance policies, and there are legal and financial consequences for non-compliance. The captain and engineers of a ship are expected to purchase compliant bunker. However, ship owners are ultimately responsible for compliance. Several industrial organizations are also stakeholders for these regulations, including the International Bunker Industry Association, which is the voice of the global bunker industry. There are authorized testing methods to determine compliance with the MARPOL sulfur regulations. Energy Dispersive X-ray Fluorescence, or EDXRF, is utilized in two of those methods. They are ASTM D4249-16E1, Standard Test Method for Sulfur in Petroleum and Petroleum Products by EDXRF, and ISO 8754-2003, Determination of Sulfur Content in Petroleum Products with EDXRF. Both provide methods to quickly measure sulfur in fuel from less than the lower 0.1% low sulfur restriction to higher than the upper range 0.5% sulfur restriction. They incorporate information on sampling, setting up a calibration with standards, and information on how to determine precision of the measurements. Both methods are available online for purchase from their organizations. So, what is energy dispersive X-ray fluorescence spectrometry? It's a technology that depends on an X-ray source to excite elements in a sample and a detector to identify them. When an X-ray source's energy hits a sample, it can eject electrons from an element's inner atomic orbital. When that happens, electrons from the outer shell move into the inner shell voids to regain stability. During those transactions, the outer electrons generate energy characteristic of the element. These characteristic energies are the fluorescent X-rays of the element that was excited. For example, sulfur has a characteristic energy at 2.309 keV. How does the detector identify the elements? Well, it provides an elemental spectrum of the sample which consists of the signature energies in keV along the x-axis and their intensities as pulses along the y-axis. It identifies the elements by their signature energy peaks along the keV axis. For instance, in this spectrum of an Epsom salt liquid, it identifies sulfur at 2.309 keV. 
chlorine at 2.622 keV, iron at 6.405 keV, and so on. The way it determines the concentration of the elements is by using information from their peak intensities. The way it uses peak intensities to determine concentrations can be seen from this spectra taken of sulfur in fuel reference samples at concentrations ranging from 0% sulfur to 1% sulfur. When there is no sulfur, there is no peak at the 2.309 keV mark. But as the amount of sulfur increases, the peak heights or intensities increase. A calibration is then created by plotting the concentrations of the sulfur in the reference samples along the x-axis with their intensities along the y-axis. So if you have a fuel sample with an unknown concentration of sulfur, you can measure it to determine the intensity of its sulfur peak. You can then use the calibration to determine the sample's sulfur concentration. For example, if the intensity is 1200 on the y-axis for this calibration, you can determine that its concentration is 0.6% sulfur. Bruker has two portable EDXRF solutions for meeting Marpole sulfur testing requirements. They are both battery operated. One is in a handheld configuration that feels like a sturdy power drill in your hand. The other is in a benchtop configuration that has the look and feel of a high-end appliance. They can both be pre-programmed with a ready-to-go maritime sulfur calibration. Standard reference materials are also available, and results can be stored in the analyzer, printed out, or transferred to a USB memory stick or external computer. The precision for Bruker's pre-installed maritime sulfur calibration for 0.1% sulfur in fuel is less than or equal to plus or minus 0.01% or 100 parts per million for a 60 second measurement. You can see from this reproducibility data of 10 measurements, the 0.01 precision is the same for just a 30 second measurement. The three sigma limit of detection with this calibration is 0.003% or 30 parts per million. The 10 sigma limit of quantification is 0.01% or 100 parts per million. The LOD and LOQ are well within the parameters for testing sulfur at the lower requirement of 0.1% or 1000 parts per million in marine fuel. Portable EDXRF is non-destructive, therefore tested samples can be retained as required. Portable XRF can measure elements from magnesium to uranium at concentration levels from parts per million up to 100%. The benchtop model is the go-to choice for those who want a safety interlocked and self-contained configuration. The handheld model is the go-to choice for those who also want to do in situ measurements, like positive material identification checks of in-service engine room alloys or QAQC of incoming alloy materials. However, this model does require a desktop or benchtop stand for MARPOL measurements. In summary, if you need to measure sulfur and fuel, for MARPOL's Annex 6 Regulation 14 following an authorized method such as ASTM D4249-16 E1, a portable EDXRF analyzer with a maritime sulfur calibration installed will provide you with accurate and precise answers in as little as one minute or less. Results can be saved on the analyzer or transferred to a printer, USB stick, or PC. All of the materials along with the analyzer can be secured in a backpack for convenient analysis at service labs, supply stations, on docks, in ports, and even aboard barges and ships. Thank you for taking the time to view our video. If you would like more information about Bruker's complete, portable EDXRF solution for MARPOL sulfur and fuel analysis, please contact us at www dot bruker dot com